Well, excuse the headphones because I'm trying out something new. I ordered me a set of headphones and a good mic and I'm just testing some stuff out. But I'm here to talk about QuickTime 10. Um, I think it's wonderful. People can say what they want to about it, but I think this is mainly from people who really haven't had a chance to dive into it yet because QuickTime 7 is still around people, but QuickTime 10 alone is worth 30 bucks. The screen recording is great. As you can see, you can also record your eyesight while you record your, your screen capture, so that's wonderful. you got your editing functions within QuickTime if you like trim some stuff off of it. And the way it takes advantage of multiple cores now is just amazing. It's so fast, and it's H.264 encoding algorithm. It's so good. It's It even outdoes ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow has had the best H.264 encoding algorithm I've ever seen up until QuickTime 10. Now I can get movies to look just as good, but small, a little bit smaller. It really is an amazing, amazing thing. And this is just a real quick video to give you my opinions on QuickTime 10. I think Apple's made the right move. I think they've done a wonderful job with it. And I can really see a performance boost when it comes to QuickTime now. I really can't. People complain about this and that, the QuickTime Pro features. Well, you know, go out and buy you a QuickTime 7 key from Apple if you really need it that bad. But the speed and encoding capabilities that this has, 1280 by 720p is what I Xcode everything for, encode everything for, for YouTube. And um, QuickTime has a 720p, 1280, 720p export setting. All I gotta do is go to Save As. I can open up a movie that's just 320 by 120. Say Save I, Save As, pick the 720p option, and it'll stretch it to save it. I mean, it'll encode it at 720p. It might look awful, but the 1280 by 720p export option inside QuickTime 10 is perfect for YouTube. Of course, you got the share options too. Um, uh, the export custom ability isn't there like it was in QuickTime 7, but the encoding is so much cleaner it seems like now, and the ma major presets are there, so I mean, I'm not really missing QuickTime 7 too much, I'll be honest with you, and just the sheer fact that I can record my screen and my eyesight camera is worth $30. Come on, people. Now we have a screen flow quality recording app built into OS X. And combine it with OS X, QuickTime 10 editing capabilities, trim functions, you pretty much got the same functionality. Granted, screen flow is still the ultimate screen capture app. You got the call outs and the sounds on the clicks and all the good effects, and, and you can add layers of stuff. And you can't beat screen flow for a really good quality screen casting app. But for what they've included with Leopard for $30, I don't see how anybody could not just go ahead and upgrade because it is totally worth it. I'm completely impressed with QuickTime 10. I think they went the right direction. People will call me crazy, but I think as time moves on, people will look back and say, well, you know what? He was right. He knew what he was talking about. QuickTime 10 is awesome. And it really is. From what I've been using it, 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 it really is awesome. So, uh, um... Look forward to a few more little tidbit videos like this on some Snow Leopard features. I'm going <coughs> to give my impressions. And I've got a couple Mac vs. PC videos in the works. Um, not too elaborate or nothing like that. Just a few articles I've seen that I'd like to share with you guys and stuff. So I hope you all stay tuned for that. And I might post another Moto tutorial or two here coming in the future. I've slacked off on them a little bit. Um, got my own reasons. Um, nothing real specific, but I figure I might post a couple more. Um, and other than that, people wanted my opinion of QuickTime, and I think it is. The new QuickTime team, I think it's wonderful. Wonderful, I, I really do. I think, I, I don't, I think they've done a good job. That's basically all I can say. I'm glad they've done what they've done, and I don't miss QuickTime 7 at all. Um, not yet, anyway. So we'll see if I'm right about the future and what it holds, and if QuickTime 10 is just going to be a foundation to make things faster, because I know for a fact it encodes faster than it ever did in QuickTime 7. Maybe I'm crazy. It seems to encode faster than it ever did in QuickTime 7, and the encoding seems to be cleaner looking, the output, and smaller. But maybe I'm crazy about that too. So, um, thanks for watching, and um, excuse the headphones. I'm going to get me a nice cost set of headphones and a nice mic setup, and um, 
try to make it a little more clean sounding. As good as the eyesight is, it's time to uh, move up a little bit. This just ain't cutting it as far as sound quality goes. So um, when I get it, we'll unbox it and we'll talk about it together. So see you then. West 10.